Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Raven89 coming at you again with round four of the, my League Monotype battle session thing. Anyway, so uh, this is actually uh, my next round. This is round four of the tournament. So I will be showing off the team, jumping right into the battle, and uh, let's see who wins. Anyway, I'm going to be bringing out my Galvantula, my Rotom Wash, Electivire, Ducky, the Heliolisk, um, this thing, Manetric. And Magneton. Magneton is going to be sh showing up in this battle. And against my other, uh, against the other team, Doug, one of my good friends. Uh, definitely great, great battler. Uh, definitely check him out. Uh, you'll definitely be seeing him. You, he was, I actually was in a couple of videos previously, so check him out. But this is a monotype water team. So a lot of people would expect, hey, you're electric. You're going to do awesome against this water team. Yeah, let's look at his team. So he's got uh, Gyarados. Gyarados is a thing. Uh, Rotom Wash, definitely a thing also. Blastoise is always a problem and so much power. Um, of course, we probably have a belly drumming um, uh, Azumarill. So that's going to be a thing. Gastrodon, I think that's what this thing's called. Gastrodon? I believe so. It's ground type. So that totally counters my team. And Swampert also counters my team. <laughs> That's it's just not good. So basically, this whole game, he's got great switch ins. If he feels threatened, he can just switch right into a ground type water Pokemon, and it won't do anything to him. So this whole match, I had to be really, really weary of switch ins and switch outs and all that kind of stuff. So something got on my screen. Sorry about that. Anyway, so yeah, so I do have to be really weary about this match. So let's go ahead and jump into the battle and see what goes down. Intense music. Doug is issuing a challenge. So I'm going to be starting off with my Spidey Senses Galvantulum. It is going to be my starter. And out comes the Swampert. So the Swampert's going to be coming out here. Definitely going to show its presence in the beginning. Instead of going for... The regular sticky web, I do go right for a move. He goes for a setup move curse. I go for the energy ball, does major damage against the Swampert. And basically, its defenses and its defense and attack is going to go up. But he decides to switch out. So, out comes the Gyarados. Uh, that's definitely a good switch. I kind of predicted that switch, so I went right for the Bug Buzz. But that's not going to be uh, effective at all because he is flying. I go right for an energy ball because I predicted a switch into a ground type Pokemon, which he did not do. And he goes for an earthquake that is going to be neutral damage, but does major damage. And uh, this Gyarados is life orb. So I go right for a thunder, hoping that he doesn't switch out. He, 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 he does not switch out. Gyarados is going to take a thunder and it's going to be super effective and knock out the Gyarados. So one Pokemon down. I'm really happy about that. Out comes... Azumaro. Azumaro is a problem. So, I decided to switch out here predicting the straight up just Aqua Jet. He does go for the Aqua Jet, so that switch in was very good. And I'm going to resist this Aqua Jet. Well, I don't even think that was resisted. But, Magneton is going to take it like a champ. Uh, Azumaro is going to switch out and go into the... Uh, this thing, Blastoise. Such a tank. Uh, so, Flash Cannon is not going to do anything. I predicted... Uh, Switch into a uh, ground. This whole time, I'm just going to be afraid of the ground. So, this Blastoise is going to make it evolve here. And it's going to go right for the Aura Spear. Sphere. Aura Spear is easily going to knock out Magneton, unfortunately. And uh, Triforce Magneton is going to go down. So, out comes Ducky. Ducky's going to be coming out here and trying to do some damage. I predicted a switch. So, I went for right straight for Grass Knot. It lives with like 6 HP. So unfortunate. He goes right for the R Sphere. Again, that is going to easily knock out this Ducky. I'm sorry, Ducky. I really wanted you to do... I really wanted you to kill it. But unfortunately, it just didn't work. So out comes Barret. Barret uh, and D is going to be switching out here. And Electivire is going to be going against Rotom. So I go for the Brick Break. Uh, assuming that he was going to switch, he did switch and goes into Rotom. 
Huge misplay here. I know Rotom carries Will-O-Wisp, and it does do the Will-O-Wisp, and now my Electivire is burned. So there goes all its attacking power down the drain. It's just bad misplay. I knew it was going to happen. I should have switched out, and I didn't, so just shame on me. There goes the Brick Break. That's not going to do any damage to Rotom. There goes the Hex. That's going to do some major damage. It's not going to knock me out, but the Burn is going to do some good damage, too. One hit from any Pokemon will pretty much take out this Electivire. So out comes Azumarill. I'm guessing he's going to go right for the um, Aqua Jet, but he does not. I go for the Brick Break. I am locked into it because I'm towards Banded. It's not going to do very much damage at all because it's resisted. I'm going to take some Burn damage. I do switch out here. Guessing he was going to go for the uh, Aqua Jet, which he doesn't. He goes for the Belly Drum. I'm in a lot of trouble here. Azumarill's just going to sweep me now. So basically, he's going to Belly Drum and then get his Citrus Berry. So he's going to be brought back up a little bit over. And I go right for a Dark Pulse. I really didn't know what to do. This is a Choice Specs. Um... Choice Specs Rotom. Bad misclick. I should have clicked something else that wasn't Dark Pulse. But unfortunately, I didn't. I thought he was going to switch. But why would he switch? He has a really beastly Esmeral on the field. Out comes Goku. It is going to go Mega Evol uh, Evolution. And I'm going to get the Intimidate off, which is going to help me somewhat. Ah, but Aqua Jet's going to happen. And that's going to easily take out this Goku. So, it's pretty much game here. I have nothing left to do. Out comes uh, Barret. It is, is going to take an Aqua Jet to the face. And uh, there goes Barret. And last but not least, I'm going to be bringing out Spidey Senses. Spidey Senses is going to take an Aqua Jet to the face. And uh, down goes Spidey Senses. And I lost. So, Electric Team lost against a Water Team. Water has a lot of power, though. You know what? I'm not even going to down Water Teams at all. They have tons of power and tons of coverage. And I was afraid, pretty much, my downfall was Electivire getting burned. I should have switched it out into another Pokemon that was a special attacker. That was mess up number one. Mess up number two was pretty much throughout the, uh, well, the Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse was just a terrible decision to go on an Azumarill. Uh, Azumarill, whatever, however you guys say it, Azumarill. So that was definitely a bad, um, bad decision on my part. And last but not least, the entire game, I was afraid of the ground-type switch-ins, but I should not have been afraid of them because I did have speed advantage. And if they switched into the... Uh, the ground type Pokemon I had coverage moves so I should not have been afraid of the ground type but I did psych myself out and was afraid of them so unfortunately I did lose and this is the end of the road of my mono type tournament playing definitely fun fun tournament uh, it was really fun just building this Pokemon and building the team you guys saw a bunch of my videos of me trying out my mono team and testing them out against uh, mixed teams and stuff like that just to kind of see you know what it can do and uh, I'm very happy with my turnout uh, over the overall tournament and uh, it was really fun so thank you so much for you guys for watching thank you so much for uh, the lonely trainer Pokemon ga uh, gang uh, that's actually the league that runs the tournament. Thank you very much for having me in your tournament. It was definitely a lot of fun, and I hope to see many more tournaments along the way and to have some more videos to share with you guys, the YouTube watchers. Uh, so just thank you to everybody. So, yeah, that's basically it. Last but not least, I'm going to mention again, I'm doing a giveaway once I hit 100 subscribers to show thank you to all the people that are subscribed to my channel. So for one hour, I will be giving away the Pokemon Carvana. I'm not going to give away anything that the Carvana has. I'm not giving away moves or anything like that. I love Carvana, so that's why I'm giving them away. So I'm going to be breeding uh, Carvanas pretty soon. And uh, once I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to shoot the time and day uh, that I will be giving away these Carvanas. And uh, basically, I'll put my friend code out there. And you guys can just send me requests. And I will be trading away 
uh, anyone that pretty much sends me a request to trade, uh, passerbys or friends or whatever, just send me a request and I will be sending Pokemon your way, Carvana your way. So thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, my whole road to uh, through this tournament. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I will be starting a new series in preparation of uh, the new competition that's going to be coming out, which is the double team uh, fast competition. So I'm really excited to go through that. I'm actually testing out a couple teams right now to see, you know, what I'm going to be running. I'm not that great at double team, double battles at all. So you guys are going to be seeing me do a lot of new moves. But hey, it's all learning experience and I'm here to share it with you guys so you don't do my mistakes and you can see me learn from my mistakes and maybe you guys can learn a little bit from me. Not sure if that's very likely, but it could happen. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will keep more videos coming your way very, very soon. So just keep out an eye out for that and thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all later. Peace out.